Millions leave WhatsApp. WhatsApp backlash. Beware, a new wormable Android malware spreading through WhatsApp. WhatsApp isn't first choice anymore. But what happened and what's the alternative? Well, let's find out. Number 1. Why the decline of WhatsApp support? At the beginning of 2021, WhatsApp asked its 2 billion plus users to agree to updated terms and conditions regarding sharing their personal information with Facebook. If users did not accept these T's and C's, they would be banned from using WhatsApp. Founder and CEO of Britain-based technology firm Digital Barriers, Zach Doffman, confirmed that WhatsApp collected the most data when compared to competitors like Telegram, iMessage, and Signal. The mass message from WhatsApp informed users that some data would be shared to Facebook, including IP address, mobile network, contact numbers, service providers, browser information, and even battery level. It did assure users that chats would remain encrypted, but users felt the assurance just wasn't enough, so began looking for more secure alternatives, like Signal. Number 2. What is Signal? Due to all the drama and uncertainty surrounding WhatsApp, Signal has exploded in popularity. It became the most downloaded free app on Apple and Google, and with its tagline of say hello to privacy, you can understand why it got a certain boost in popularity ratings. The encrypted messaging app was founded in 2014 by Moxie Merlinspike, who lists his credentials as software engineer, hacker, sailor, captain, and shipwright. The app was developed by a nonprofit, which we'll go into more detail about later, and doesn't sell adverts or user data. First, though, let's have a look at the figures that reveal just how many people downloaded Signal. Number 3. How many downloads has Signal gotten? Hey Luxers, you now know the reason why so many people are suddenly turning to Signal, so how many people made that switch? According to CNBC.com, Signal had 7.5 million downloads between the 6th and 10th of January 2021. That was 43 times higher than the week before. Telegram also had an exponential increase in downloads, with 5.3 million in that same week. Signal wasn't quite ready for the massive influx of new users and had to install new servers. As they tweeted, We continue to shatter traffic records and ad capacity as more and more people come to terms with how much they dislike Facebook's new terms. If you weren't able to create a new group recently, please try again. New servers are ready to serve you. Number 4. Who Owns Signal? We mentioned Moxie Marlin's spike a little earlier, but he's not the only one who can take credit for the platform. The company, Signal Messenger LLC, was founded by Brian Acton. Acton is a computer programmer and internet entrepreneur who also founded WhatsApp with Jan Koum. Signal Messenger LLC is owned by a nonprofit corporation under the umbrella Signal Technology Foundation. Number 5. Is Signal Really Safer Than WhatsApp? The answer to this question is what is driving more and more people to download Signal? In their own words on Twitter, Signal is a cross-platform messaging app. Privacy isn't an optional mode, it's just the way Signal works. Every message, every call, every time. Look, that could just be lip service, so let's see what makes Signal safer than WhatsApp. According to Forbes.com, Signal is the safer option, and here's why. Despite both WhatsApp and Telegram using encryption protocol, Signal differs in that it's open source. That means any security researchers can detect where there are vulnerabilities. WhatsApp uses their own proprietary deployment. Your content is safe with both as they use end-to-end -end encryption. The security weaknesses in WhatsApp is the backup to cloud where the chat history is stored. Signal does not have this option. Number 6. What do Signal and Elon Musk have in common? Musk, the man who was momentarily the richest man in the world, is also a huge fan of Signal. On the 7th of January 2021, he tweeted a very detailed, in-depth message about his thoughts regarding Signal. He said, Use Signal. Funny story though, many people took his words to the next level and decided to buy Signal stocks. Except, as we mentioned already, they're a non-profit so you can't buy shares. 
What people bought instead was shares of Signal Advance, a company who manufactures various detection devices in the medical field. They certainly didn't complain, though, because prior to the misleading tweet, shares of Signal Advance had never gone above 60 cents. But on January 7th, stocks closed at $3.76. On the 8th of January, it was $7.19. And then another day later, pushed the closing price to $38.70. That's a 6,350% increase over three days. Once the hype died down and the truth was revealed, it did go back down to $12 a share, and at the time of writing this script, it was at $5.55. Number 7. Which chat service provider is best to use? WhatsApp, Signal, or Telegram? Hey Luxers, we've already concluded that Signal is by far the safest option, but if you're not too bothered by your data or information being shared, then which is the best messaging platform to use? Telegram sits somewhere between WhatsApp and Signal when it comes to privacy, but has a great social network style environment. Another bonus for Telegram is it has a 2 gigabyte limit when sending attachments. The downside to Telegram is they're alerted when every Tom, Dick, or Harry joins the platform. It's like they're so excited they need to advertise the fact that someone's joined. WhatsApp, despite the current challenges they're facing, is still the go-to choice for most people. Number 8. Who are Signal's biggest supporters? Elon Musk, of course, but who else? Former WhatsApp co-founder Brian Acton, and sure, it's because he's one of the founders. But then there's Edward Snowden, remember him? He's the American whistleblower who leaked highly confidential information from the National Security Agency back in 2013 while working as a CIA employee. Another fan is Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. Number 9. What protects your conversations on Signal? For a start, Signal offers end-to-end -end encryption. So what does that mean? It means that only those participating in the conversation can read the messages. On the surface, it looks like any ordinary messaging app, and that's what's good about the app. You don't need to think about security and can be at ease knowing that what's happening behind the scenes is all being done to protect you, the user. And as we mentioned already, nothing is stored. There are pros and cons to that, sure. It's great that there's nothing people can gain access to. But what if you lose your phone? You lose every single conversation along with it. It's not backed up like with WhatsApp. Number 10. What features does Signal have? Besides being super secure, Signal has other features which also make you consider downloading the app. Like any messaging app, you can delete individual messages. However, the recipient will still have full access to the entire string of messages. On Signal, you can select the Disappearing Messages feature, which removes the messages automatically. You can also select the time period before the messages are deleted. Currently, Signal has promised no adverts, but whether they can keep that up due to being an open-sourced project is debatable, as it can be quite tough to monetize. Number 11. Does this high-end security open a gateway for criminal activity? Aluxers, with all of these security features, surely it will make it easier for criminals to get away with illegal activity. The short answer is yes. There has been a rise in criminals using the app to communicate and execute illegal activities. With an app that encourages privacy, it's the perfect portal to keep things discreet. Several current and former employees have all voiced concern over the misuse of the platform. During the Black Lives Matter protests, Signal introduced a smudging tool to make the subjects of photographs anonymous. Number 12. Can Signal handle the sudden influx of new users? A Fox News article says no, with headlines appearing on their site stating, Signal messaging service back up after outage caused by surge in demand. Once their service was restored, they quickly came online to announce Signal is back. Like an underdog going through a training montage, we've learned a lot since yesterday and we did it together. Thanks to the millions of new Signal users around the world for your patience. Your capacity for understanding inspired us while we expanded our capacity. Despite being back online, users were aware of error messages that cropped up while using the platform. Signal were quick to reassure users that it didn't compromise their security and assured users they could continue sharing without insecurity. Number 13. What bugs has Signal already encountered? 
Several messaging video apps encountered a bug that allegedly allowed attackers to spy on a user's surroundings. Vulnerable apps included Signal, Google Duo, Facebook Messenger, GeoChat, and Mocha. Triggering the bug was straightforward. All it took was a call placed to the target's device. In 2019, Apple encountered a bug in its group FaceTime feature. The bug was discovered by a high schooler who realized the person initiating the group call could listen to the recipient's surroundings, even if the call wasn't picked up. The bug was fixed, but Google Project Zero researcher Natalie Silvanovich investigated further and confirmed that Signal Messenger, Google Duo, Facebook Messenger, GeoChat, and Mocha all had the potential to encounter similar problems. However, all concerns have been reported and fixed. Number 14. How does Signal make money if it's owned by a nonprofit? When looking at the figures, it's hard to gauge exactly how much WhatsApp is worth, but it's estimated that each user is worth about $4 to the company, so they could be valued in the region of $5 billion. Their revenue comes mainly from businesses using the service to connect with customers. WhatsApp was bought by Facebook for $19 billion, and they're there to make a profit. Signal is not-for-profit, with the intention of being there for the benefit of the user. However, they still need to pay their staff, right? They rely solely on donations to keep it up and running, and because the app is open-sourced, anybody can go in and point out gaps or holes and offer solutions at a hugely reduced rate. The Signal team is quite small, with the highest number of employees at any given time being seven. Brian Acton invested $50 million into the business, and with the sudden growth, we can expect more big donations to filter through. Number 15. So what data does Signal keep? Nothing. As plain and simple as that, Aluxers, Signal keeps nothing. Not even the developers can access your account or the messages, media, or documents that you've sent. It seems, so far, they live up to their motto of say hello to privacy. So, Aluxers, have you downloaded Signal yet? If so, what's your experience of the app? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. And you know how it goes. You stay with us until the end and you get a bonus. Our final question is important, and that's, can I back up my chats? As you know, it doesn't store anything in the cloud, so if you lose your phone, you lose all the chats. However, if you want to back up your conversations, it is doable. Just because everyone seems to be migrating to Signal, you don't need to worry that you can't save your chats. It's a bit of a long-winded process, but if the chat is important to you, then you won't mind doing it. Otherwise, enjoy the app for what it strives to be private, personal, and risk-free. Thanks for watching, Aluxers. We are so glad you joined us today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more great videos.